Most of the time you will need to describe data that happened in the past, and this quick video will help you a lot. This type of grammar applies to bar charts, line graphs, pie charts, tables, and maps, so you must know it. And make sure you check out my previous video for present forms and my next video for predicting data. The easiest is simple past, but make sure you know the most common irregular verbs. The past continuous is less common, but can still be used. Using the past perfect will definitely raise your grammar score. And you can use present perfect if a trend started in the past and is true now, which is most common for maps. You can use the passive voice, but it's absolutely not necessary for a band 7 or higher. You only need to use a variety of these tenses correctly.